Hey guys, so I'm getting dressed. I just got out of the shower. Um, but I wanted to talk really quick as I'm getting ready. Uh, there was just something on my mind in the shower. And it's you guys, you know? So yeah, we just need to have a heart to heart really quick. This isn't gonna be a long video, just in and out before I head out. But guys, so as most of you guys know, I was just in Uganda. I was super excited about that. And yeah, I don't know. After I posted that video, I started feeling some type of way. Uh, I started having doubts, I started having fears, just all these crazy feelings that I realized they were directed or resulting right from the comment. When I posted that video, I was super excited. You know, I love sharing my travels with you guys, but a lot of those comments, like it was just about my sexuality, how I shouldn't go to Uganda, how I shouldn't be there, how if I stay, I'm gonna die, like it's the most homophobic place in the, on the continent. Like just all this crazy negative stuff that, one, I, I didn't know any, I didn't know nothing about Uganda. Like I'm the type of traveler, like I just like to go. I didn't have any kind of like preconceived notions. I didn't know too much. I just wanted to go and make my own my own judgment, my own opinion, make my own experiences, which I did. So when I was in Uganda, people were super, super friendly. I had no issues. Uh, yeah, very welcoming. But after I posted that video, guys, I, I don't know, I started getting nervous. Like, well, dang, is it the most homophobic place? Like, should I not go out? Like, am I gonna die? Like, I, I started getting nervous. So the day I posted that video, I was gonna go out with one of my friends. But I don't know, after that I was like, you know, maybe I should just stay indoors. You know, and I started having like PTSD or like flashback of Rwanda, uh, which really wasn't my case in Uganda, but I don't know, that's kind of why I'm disappointed in myself because I let other people project their fears, project their insecurities onto me. And I hate that. Um, Cause I, I always preach like, you know, make your own decisions, do your own thing. Like don't let other people um, create your reality, create your narrative. So, and I, and I did that and I hate that, but I just wanted to talk about that. And I feel like a lot of those comments, they weren't coming from a place of hate. I think it was coming from a place of concern, but it's like, guys, if I see 30, 40 comments about get out of there, it's not safe, please be careful. It's very dangerous for you to be there. Like I am human, so naturally, that is gonna get to me. So, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to say, like, guys, you know, we are. This is a community. We're friends. Um, I'm about to put on some toner. I just bought this stuff. Uh, soothing facial toner. I'm actually going backwards. I put my moisturizer on, and now I'm putting on toner. That's incorrect. It should be the other way, but whatever. But yeah, I feel like you know, this is a community. We're all friends. Most of my comments are positive, but it's like. Guys, if I keep, you know, if I just keep seeing comments about, oh, be careful there, it's not safe for you, like, you know, you know they hate gay people, and it's like, guys, for one, I don't need any reminders from anyone about my sexuality. If anyone knows, it is me, trust me. Secondly, I know better than anyone else that I need to be safe, I need to be mindful where I'm at, which I always am. That's how I'm still here posting videos. I'm alive, I'm well. So I don't know, it's like if I'm creating content, I'm like really trying to produce good quality content that has nothing to do with my sexuality really. And you guys are just reducing, not all of you guys, I don't wanna say that because most of the comments are great, but some of you guys are like just reducing me to my sexuality and just making the content about that. That shit is frustrating, it's annoying, and I don't like it. And when I do see those comments, I delete them because I just don't wanna be known for that. That is that is not my brand. So, you know, I just wanted to get on here and say that, like, let's just stop doing that. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, really. Guys, I recently bought some cuticle oil. Um, so yeah, I'm about to put that on. What else, what else do I wanna chat about? Um, yeah, that was mainly it. That was mainly it. I just, I don't I don't like seeing stuff like that. It's like, if I'm making a video about my like day in the life in Uganda and people are just like, oh, they're gonna kill you. Like, get out of there. And it's like, what? Like, that's crazy. When in reality, I'm there, I'm meeting people, laughing, making connections, having a good time. Um, I don't know. 
I just feel like I, I regret even reading some of those comments because it got to me and I, I allow that to like keep me indoors. So I, I was originally planning, if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, I wanted to stay in Uganda for like two to three weeks. But if I'm being honest, some of those comments did get to me. Um, I'm like, you know, is it unsafe? Because honestly guys, I didn't do that much research before I went to Uganda. Like, yeah, as I do with most countries, I just booked the flight and I went and I'm like, you know what, let me go. Let me, let me see what it's giving, let me make my own experience. So when I got there and like all the, a lot of the comments were just about this and that and death and get out of there and just like be careful, it's unsafe. I started having second thoughts and like doubts like, mm, maybe I should like, you know, maybe I shouldn't be here. I don't know. I planned on coming back to Kenya the entire time, but I was going to stay in Uganda for a little longer than expected. But I think with me not meeting anyone there, like I didn't really know anyone and I didn't, I didn't really make an effort um, because I started getting nervous and scared to like be super social. I felt like I didn't get the full experience in Uganda and that sucks, that sucks. So I think I'm gonna have to redo that, redo that. I definitely wanna do it with somebody so I can have a better experience. But I just wanted to get on here and say like, guys, let's, let's please refrain from just reducing me to my sexuality. Like I can understand if my video is about that, then I think that's, you know, we can open that conversation. But if I'm just talking about riding around the city in Uganda, meeting people, like, come on guys, like don't, don't do that to me. And I think most of the comments, it's from other gay people making these comments, which is crazy. They're like, oh, you shouldn't be there. It's not safe, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, guys, I'm trying to show you, like let's break some of these stereotypes that we've been taught. So my camera decided to overheat. I've been trying to record this video for like 30 minutes now. But no, I'm just saying like, one of my things with my content, I'm trying to break stereotypes when it comes to traveling in African countries as a queer person. Like, I don't know, the shit I've been taught growing up, it was just very over dramatic and it's really not the reality here traveling on the continent. Um, out of the four or five countries I've been in, in my experience, I have noticed like, most Africans really don't even care what you got going on. People have their own stuff going on. As long as you're respectful, you try to blend in with the people, you really shouldn't have any problems. So I take that into mind when I go to new places um, as much as I can. You know, like some places I, I go, I do know I stick out, but in that I've also learned like, that's something I've had to work on with my own past trauma. Like just because someone's staring at me or looking at me, it's not necessarily because I'm gay. And I think a lot of us, think that, like when we're out and people are looking at us, we're like, oh, it's because we're gay, it's because it is, they're clocking me, whatever, and sometimes that's really not the truth, you know? Like, there are other, there are a lot of other reasons someone can look at you, you know? But um, I think I'm just rambling at this point. I just wanted to say, like, guys, let's stop doing that. That, it's starting to get to me, honestly. Like, I really felt like I ran up out of Uganda because I got nervous and I got scared from reading comments, so I don't like that. I'm disappointed in myself. You know, if you're watching this, take this as a sign to not let other people predict things for you to, I don't know, make decisions for you. Just, you know, form your own opinions. I'm gonna remember that going forward. That's been my whole thing this whole time, but I think I had a moment of like weakness there because um, it was a new place and it was, it was very different from where I was coming from, which was South Africa. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, I'm in Africa, Africa now, you know? But, uh, and I didn't know anyone. So like me going out by myself, I was a little nervous after reading those kind of comments. Um, but no more of that. I'm gonna just always, you know, remember to be safe, protect myself, but I'm gonna continue living my best life and continue sharing it with you guys. But yeah, let's just be positive. Let's not reduce me to my sexuality. I don't like that, but let me finish getting ready. It's been like two hours, I'm late. I'm putting on some Green Savage by Zara Man. I really only got this because I love the color of the bottle, but it actually smells good too. But yeah guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm open to apologies as well in the comments. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I have three new videos coming out. 
uh, within the next week here in Kenya. So definitely subscribe for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.